What is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen? We're back again once more. More replay theater. Timestamps in the description box below of each match that will occur. What is the characters involved? This is an ugly ass Jubei color. This is like if Jubei was a clown. That's my perception. Ooh. Nice count. Nice confirm. I couldn't even tell he was crouching. <laughs> Fucking Jubei. I guess it looks like he just changes the position of his arm based on where he's blocking. Not gonna find out today because this motherfucker dead. Never mind. Now this motherfucker dead. Dirty instant threads. Jubei's amazing project projectile coming in hot once more. Now he gets fatal counter, but doesn't do a real fatal counter confirm, but gets command grab, and that's a lot of damage, so he gotta burst that. Ooh, nice check of the stance, but he doesn't actually do a full combo off of it, and he drops that as well. Level 34, Jubei, by the way. It's way too easy to rank up. That, that's the only that's the only interpretation I have of this entire, like, all of my replay theaters. That's the one definitive thing I can say about all of them, is that it's way too fucking easy to rank up in this game. Okay, it is an overhead. That actually would have dropped on a lot of characters, though. It was only because Kagura is so tall that it worked because he didn't do... He wasn't holding down uh, when he was doing those claws. Oh, that should have been with punished. This is really poor neutral by both players. Yeah, off the counter's out of there. <laughs> Tries to cross up and just eats the... That is sword swing in the game. Holy shit. Damn. Doesn't jump the right direction. Huh? Now is Anami got started. Have fun. Okay, blocks the overhead. Blocks the overhead again. Doesn't block the third one. He'll never block the third one. It's like a rule of fighting games. <laughs> nice hitbox arc system works really well designed right there. <laughs> What the hell is this stupid ass hitbox? Oh my god. She was like a character behind him. And this dude still managed to do some nonsensical contortionist act to make sure his toe clipped her in the nose or some shit. That was nonsense. Ooh, hit some low. Yeah, he's too scared of the overhead now. Barely too high for that combo confirm to work. Got hit by the low again. Now you're stuck in project. Oh my god. You're just stuck in block stun for 10 seconds. All he wants, all this dude wants to do is play the damn game. That's all this poor guy wanted to do, but he forgot that he was playing against Izanami. And she's a Guilty Gear character in Blaze Blue. You don't get to play the game against Guilty Gear characters. Oh, I hate that character. I hate all the characters that were introduced in this version. A lot of use out of that overdrive. Hit confirms the, uh, the overhead. Just how cock is having a bad day. Is Taukaka's having a really bad day. <laughs> I don't think she's dead yet. Okay. No, yeah, she's dead now. <laughs> Just gets hit by all the overheads. Oh, no. 
It was like her only hope was that one overdrive, and once that failed, she just like had no clue what to do. Okay, finally go. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, finally gets to get started. No, still doing the same thing. Like, I'm surprised. It's gonna get caught low. Fucking knew it. Um. Okay, there it is. I'm surprised. That's why I'm surprised he didn't do that the first time. Just hold it down because the Tarumi showed absolutely zero respect for the OD raid in the first round. Actually, Talkaka can potentially win this off of one hit. Oh, just hits into the counter. Oh no. Okay. Alpha counters, has the burst back, whips the 2D, has meter, I think she doesn't win. That did start with like a 2A, so I'm not surprised that combo dropped. Oh, still manages to do it even though it doesn't hit confirmed low. Round starts 6A and it works against a non-airborne opponent gets full corner carry and 3k Talkaka with a 3k combo catches the no tech this is another 3k not quite sorry I got I got excited and I thought Talkaka didn't have completely shit damage my mistake this isn't even gonna kill that was that was not smart <laughs> oh no okay thanks to the overdrive actually he's not gonna get to punish that you would have been able to punish, but there is a small recovery time to overdrive. But this Talkaka is getting her ass kicked now. I don't think she's going to get her burst back either. And Tarumi has 100 meters. Manages to catch him out of his approach. Talkaka got so lucky. I thought it was just immediately over after that first round, but brought it back. Good shit. I'm start Gauntlet Hades and it works. Oh no. The block of the overhead. God, his toes clip though. This Susano skip. Which doesn't happen very often. It's very rare you see a Susano player be uh, wary of hitting buttons. But this one's definitely very respectful of the Ragnar. Oh, I don't know if he meant to roll there. He did. Goodbye. Good block, terrible punish. Tried to 2C the Blood Scythe, but it doesn't count as uh, a jumping attack. Or it might have actually just gone in before the head invulnerability of 2C. Because 2C does have an amazing hitbox, it's a really good anti air, but the head invulnerability doesn't trigger until pretty late in the move. So it might have been the latter. He's so scared. You gotta get proactive and do something, my man. Okay, other than that. Oh, it worked, but he didn't hit confirm it. Yo, like, you have a DP that hits rather high in the air, and if you hit it on somebody sufficiently high in the air, you actually get a full combo from it. Use it. Shit. Oh my god, that actually caught, but because of the backdash, that's a tilter. Oops! <laughs> really? I think Ragna just lost right then and there. I think that match just fell out of his hands. Oh, it's so over.
I mean, surely, this, I'm, I, I was saying it's so over because clearly he was just broken, but this combo's actually gonna kill. Good buff, Arc System Works. Definitely a necessary one. What the fuck? The Wheel of Fate is done. Give it one. Oh god, why did I get this replay? I'm surprised that works with how short S is. Damn, actually gets caught with S's slow ass overhead. It's not surprising because it's just so rare. Pretty much never see it. And like to develop reactions to something, you have to see it. I'm surprised that whiff. Counting the S was surprised too. Luckily for this S, the Taukaka is just freely running into every DP. Oh no. Just at the very start of that overhead, that's the freest punish in the world. And of course, she had active flow, so she gets the full damage exceed Excel. A wonderful game mechanic. They definitely should have kept in the game when they had the opportunity to fix that bullshit. Oh, I'm surprised she didn't catch the back dash. Definitely could have if she were looking for it. Ooh, gets a whip punish. I'm not even really sure how that side switch worked. It was just like on one frame, she's on the left side, and then the next frame, she's on the right side. And still continuing the combo. Oh, you dead. This is unnecessary as hell, too. I would have actually laughed a little bit if uh, that wound up not killing because her overdrive ran out before she did the super, so she wound up not getting the overdrive version of it. It would have kind of amused me if that wasn't enough damage to finish. But it was. So no amusement for me today. Definitely no amusement for me today, but it's okay. Because this is probably my favorite song in the game. So at least I'll get something to enjoy. Ooh, gets the throw counter. I didn't know she could hold that fireball. That's new to me. This part right here is the one that gets me. Like, the rest of the song's fine, but this part? Get in there, Chanters. Ooh, put herself in danger. This is definitely his opportunity. As long as he doesn't keep dropping combos, gets the knockdown blocks, but has enough to rapid cancel. It doesn't check his toes, but she doesn't complete the combo. But it doesn't matter because he gets hit anyway by an American reset. So he doesn't block the overhead. It's actually decently painful. Oh, gets the TRM setup. This is a bad round for Izanami. Oh, I'm very surprised he didn't catch that roll. No hit confirm. What are you doing? <laughs> that wasn't even a punish. <laughs> He instant blocked it and everything, but it still wasn't a punish. They just, it was negative, so Izanami's button came out later. Oh, it wakes up not blocking Aurelius. What are you trying to do? There's not much you can do on Wake Up. You gotta respect shit. He's not respecting the damn thing. He really isn't. Like, he just hit buttons in the ribcage. 
Oh no, you're dead. Well, that went south really quickly for him. Alrighty then. Unsurprisingly, is an army win. Nonsense ass character. <sighs> This is actually probably a pretty bad matchup for Moon, I have to imagine. But, you know, when this happens, life becomes pretty sweet for any character. Gets the throw counter, interesting. God, this is 4k off the oh. oh, gets the aerial reset, doesn't barrier block. I actually tried to bait the burst, but waited. Didn't wait quite long enough. Are those pro Oh, I thought the projectile was going to swing back around and hit him, but he was aware of it. He just won? Did he? Yeah, there we yeah, 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 yeah. Stupid of me. Stupid of me to think otherwise. He had a 100 meter that's all 100% burst safe. Because I just, I noticed that her burst was coming back soon. But... Yeah, right. Hazuma. Fuck that air throw. Air throws in this game just make no damn sense to me. This is why I want a hitbox viewer. Because I want to see what the hell hitboxes are on aerial throws. They just make so little sense most of the time. Good adjustment to get that full confirm. Damn, Hazma's going nuts on her this round. I thought she was about to die to a purple throw, and that would have been really disappointing. Okay. And of course, as per usual, this combo's going to continue for five additional seconds. Five seconds longer than I thought it would. Yeah, she can definitely win this. One hit. Okay, he blocked the dirty reset that time. Not gonna get hit by it twice. But he oh he's so dead. That oh she drops it. Oh no. Oh the DP with the 360 degree hitbox. She almost threw that away. But he can definitely go this entire round without getting his burst back if she kills him fast enough. Which is what which is what the worry was right there that he basically threw his burst away at the end of the round. Gets hit by the overhead. It's just one more hit, and even if he might potentially get his burst back, which it looks like he could, she has overdrive. She has overdrive. This is it. What? What are you doing? And he didn't burst. Wow. That was multiple levels of choke that could have happened, but didn't. Um, how much time do I got? Oh, we got plenty. I was going to go up to the other, the Ikaruga GETV, because that's a that's a name I don't recognize, I haven't seen before. And I always want to see Tagers whose names I haven't seen before, especially over this particular Tager. Ah! Damn, he just got hit! Yikes. I haven't got the slightest clue what J2C could possibly catch after Gadget Finger. This gets a counter hit. Ooh, 
should not have tried to throw there. He could have actually gotten the punish. No rapid cancel. Wait, that works? That must be due to the 5B buff in this version. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Too late on the ants here. Finishes it in style with the gear super. Jump out. Surprised he gave up the sandwich, but it's okay, you got the low. Instant overhead! I haven't seen that before! It's the reset. You gotta respect that, man! That's why you don't just hold down tech against Tager. Magnetism wore off right when he started trying to Atomic Collider right there. Oh, wait. That had to have been a mistake. I thought he was going to get caught by the doll super after his sledge. That's what I thought was about to happen. Oh, he's dead. Especially if you get caught by the same fucking tech trap twice in a row. Oh. That's why this guy is a hero? That had to have been an overdrive attempt. Ooh, good catch on the roll. Back dash. Oh. Probably did the same thing that usually happens to me in scenario. Oh my good god damn! I think Amani could have actually won that right there. He had 50 meter. Blocks the attempted overhead reset. But yeah, like you saw at the start of that, uh, Moose 5A started to come out. I think like usually what happens to me in scenarios like that is like I, I'm starting to get hit. So I'm like, all right, let me press a button so I can tech once this combo is over. God damn it. And then I just get reset and a button comes out instead. <laughs> when all I meant to do is tech. Oh my god, the disrespect. Knows Moo really has no options at that range. So like, just sandwich her in between the projectile and any type of movement that can uh, get her away from it. Amon is going to get his burst back. Oh, the aerial. This dude loves that reset. Everybody in this, like, the name of the game of this replay theater is aerial resets and people having no fucking clue how to properly deal with them. Really confirm it though. Good air throw. Okay, I can't deal with all these side switches. Please tell me she's not actually. Oh my god, she carried him to the corner. After carrying him out of the corner, like 75% of the way across the screen towards the other corner, doing a side switch, then carried him all the way back. That's not okay. He's dead. This character is stupid. <laughs> that was ridiculous. The wheel of fate is done. Give it one action. Ooh, is that supposed to work? Who knows? 
I feel like I'm just watching the same exact chain of moves over and over. <laughs> Just gets caught, gets perfected by my. It's been a minute since I've seen my. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Never mind. You could have just two seed that for free and gotten enormous damage, but instead you just hold down exceed excel. Oh no. It's hit by the overhead, and he's gonna get a combo confirmed for this. I don't much damage though. Damn, max range 5C. I don't know about that burst. I really, that's a very questionable burst. Even, I mean, obviously in hindsight, that was the worst burst in the world. The only way it could have been worse is if it got baited out. But even like in the moment, like that's pretty fucking questionable. You should probably just give up the round and take your burst into the next round and have it available. But she's doing just fine without it. That pop is so dumb. Why does it have an vulnerability? Good catch with the JA. Good catch of the roll. I'll be honest with you. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I probably wouldn't have teched that either. That looked so fucked up that I would not have realized what was happening until after I got planted into the ground by that purple throw. That's actually kind of dirty how that works. Because, like, the screen isn't really focused on you. It's expecting to continue moving forward a bit further, but because of the rapid cancel into the throw, it has to, like, snap back over to you. It really just doesn't look right. That's kind of fucked up. All right, anyway. This is my first time seeing you, and you're in one of the worst matchups in the game. Oh, I'm impressed already. This is, let me put the controller down. Let me focus. Let's go, Taker. Oh, this is my favorite player now. I go Ruku GTB. Let's. Oh my God, have mercy on this poor Amane soul. This matchup isn't supposed to go like this. Give the man a chance. Making it look like the positions are reversed. Like Amane gets bodied in this matchup. Oh, ooh. Bangs backdash nerf. Completely unnecessary bullshit. Adding more recovery on the end. Yeah, you can't really sleep. You can't sledge against Amane. It's very tempting because then you don't have to deal with the drills. But, uh, yeah. His normals are too. Oh! <laughs> Get called out! Let's go! Oh my god, 53, 46 damage. Ooh, I thought he was gonna catch him again. Good hop of the projectile, really not. Oh, you come into play with me, boy. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna get meter. Amani's dead. There's nothing he can do. Let's go. Igaruku GTB. Damn.